Hello and welcome to Art Sundays. My name is Francesca and today we will explore some of the inspiring works in the Unearthed Photography Roots exhibition and learn how to make a chandelier. Unearthed Photography Roots exhibition explores the history of photography through nature. The exhibition includes over 100 works by 25 photographers. The exhibition explores still life photographs by Imogen Cunningham. Imogen Cunningham was born in 1883 and began taking photographs of plants at university. For this workshop you will need some paper, pencil and scissors, paints, a paintbrush, a glue stick and some string, an embroidery hoop and a selection of tape. Imogen Cunningham would later return to photographing nature in the 1920s and push boundaries as a female photographer with a strong artistic voice. Cunningham's plant photographs are honest, detailed and strong. The next time you are outdoors, have a go at drawing some of the plants and get up really close at Imogen. Imogen really enjoyed spending her time observing nature. Ok so let's begin. Here are the sketches I did earlier. I'm also using these pictures I found to inspire my colour combinations, so do include any additional inspirations you can find. I'm using watercolour paints. Watercolours when applied thinly are a great way to build up colour and brush marks. Have fun creating bold colourful paintings. I chose four plants for my chandelier, but do include any insects or imaginary plants inspired by your walk. Once the first layer of paint is dry, you can apply a second coat. Okay, so while that's drying, let's decorate the embroidery hoop. The embroidery hoop will be the frame for the chandelier. I'm using colourful tape to decorate mine, but if you don't have any colourful tape, you can use felt tip pens or paints. So just start by cutting off a little bit of tape, about two centimetres long, and then just wrap it round the hoop. Colourful tape is an easy and fun way to build up blocks of colour. Keep going, you can add as little or as much tape as you like. If you don't have an embroidery hoop, you can use a wire coat hanger. Wire coat hangers are easy to reshape and a good way to recycle. Okay, now let's attach the paintings to the string. A nice touch is to make your designs double sided. When the designs are double sided and when they move, you will always see an image on the other side. It's also a neat way to hide the string. So start by cutting a piece of string and then tape it in place. Add some glue and carefully stick the other side.
next cut out your designs. I'm just going to cut out the edges. Just check that you don't cut the other side by accident, so just cut the edges down. I've chosen to do the same design on each side, but you can change the designs. They don't have to be the same. So just keep attaching the strings. I'm also using different lengths of string for my chandelier, and this just creates a little bit of volume. Okay, now we're ready to attach the string to the chandelier frame. So just take the string and wrap it round and knot it. Try to tie them on evenly spaced so that when you hang them it doesn't lean to one side so it balances evenly. Chandeliers are a che cheerful and playful way to transform your outdoor space or create a window, window display. Now I'm just going to add some string so that we can hang up the chandelier. Okay, great, let's display our chandelier. Well done everyone, I hope you enjoyed the workshop. Remember to show your chandelier at Dulwich Gallery, hashtag Art Sundays.